Got an older PC like a Dell Optiplex A05 that you want to push to Windows 11? You're not alone. I just ran a diagnostic on a client's machine and guess what? It failed three major checks. The computer is missing a compatible CPU TPM 2.0 and the correct GPT partitioning for the drive. Now legally Microsoft says no, but is it technically possible to install Windows 11 anyway? Yes. It involves a special workaround during the installation process, specifically by editing the Windows registry. This bypasses the TPM and CPU checks. But here's the crucial part. You must buy a genuine, full retail Windows 11 license to activate it. You can't use the old Windows 10 key. But before you do this, you need to know the risks. Installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware is a roll of the dice. First, you risk future updates failing. Microsoft has warned that unsupported PCs may not receive important security or driver updates. Second, performance and stability can be an issue, especially with that unsupported CPU. You might experience frustrating slowdowns or crashes. And third, if something goes wrong, Microsoft won't provide technical support. So what's my final recommendation for the client? You have three smart options, listed from cheapest to most secure. Option one, switch to Linux. Distributions like Ubuntu or Zorin OS are free, secure, and will make that older hardware feel fast again. It's the best performance upgrade you can get for free. Option two, stay on Windows 10 and buy one year of security updates. Microsoft offers the ESU program for consumers, which costs about $30 USD for the first year. This is a great stopgap, but it only lasts one year for home users, and you're only getting security patches, not new features. Option three, Purchase a new fully compatible PC. This is the most expensive, but the most secure and future-proof choice. A new Windows 11 machine gives you full hardware warranty, the best performance, and the guaranteed long-term support you need for a reliable machine. Don't risk a broken operating system for the sake of an upgrade, unless you are ready for the risks. If this breakdown helped you decide the future of your older PC, hit that subscribe button for more straightforward tech advice. I've given you the risks and the best options, from the Windows 11 workaround to the $30 Windows 10 ESU and the Smart Linux Switch. So for those of you with an older, non-compatible Windows 10 machine, what choice did you make now that support has ended? Let me know in the comments below. Did you upgrade your hardware, pay for the ESU, or make the leap to Linux? I wanna hear your story. And for even deeper dives into security, optimization, and all things tech, be sure to check out my tech blog at First Choice PC Fix for more insights.